welcome to the channel and today we're going to be learning the essentials of text formatting in Microsoft Word. So when you open a document your cursor is at the top here and you simply begin to type. When you do so you'll do so with your default text and you can find that default text by going to the home tab and looking in this section here. So if you click on the drop down, you can see all the different fonts that you have available to you in your software. And you can choose from any of these fonts. And here is also your font size. Again, if you click on the drop down, you can select from any one of these sizes. Alternatively, you can use these two icons here. And to do that, you just select the font that you want to change and then you use the increase font size icon and the decrease font size icon. Or you can simply select the number and change it and press enter. You can also change your font as the way we said earlier and just select from any of these particular ones. And then you can use these three here to change your font to bold. Let's just change that back to something different. So there's bold, there's italics and there's also underline. If you want to go back to the default text, select it. Just go up to this icon here which says clear or formatting and it will take you back to the original font. So let's go ahead and use this section of text to show you some other things that you can do with your font. If you want to change the font colour, just select the font that you want to change. Go to this icon here click on the drop down. You can select from any of these colours here or here and if you don't find the colour you want you can go to more colours. Then using this little icon you can move it around the colour wheel and the colour you've selected will appear here. Once you're happy you just click OK and Word will change that font for you to that selected colour. If you're not happy with the colour and you want it back to black and it's only one step that you've done, you can go to Command or Control Z and it will return to the black colour. If you want to highlight a section of your text, then you can highlight that section. You can go to this icon here, click on the drop down, and then you can select from any of these colours to simply highlight that text. If you want to change the alignment of your text, you can simply select it you can go to center, which will center your text. You can go to right to right align it. And you can go to justify, which will stretch it across the page. So you have these lovely lines left and right, and it will look more like a rectangle. If you want to change the spaces between each of your lines, once again, select your text, go to this icon here, click on the drop down and you can select from any number of these options. So let's go to 1.5 and you can see now that you have increased the space between your lines. For slightly more advanced styles, let's say for example this section here you could use as a title. So let's just copy that text, Command or Control C or you can use this icon here to copy Place your cursor where you want to copy that text to and you can either use the paste icon or command or control V. So select this text and if you find that you've used a font which is let's say for example this one and you can see that the characters are very close together. What you can do is once you've selected that text right click, go down to font, then go to advanced at the top here select spacing, click on the drop down, select expand and then in here you can choose how much you want to expand your characters by. So for example let's put in 5 and then click OK and now you've got a perfect example of how Word will now space out those characters for you so they're not quite as close. That was a bit extreme but it proves the point. So you can use this just for a section of your text, all of your text or simply one word itself. So let's select this word, 
you can increase its size, turn it bold, italics, underline it, change the colour and change the background for all one word. And if you want to put your text in a box, let's say we wanted the whole of this section here in a box, you can select it, you can go up to this icon here, click on the drop down and simply select outside borders and you can see Word has now put a nice border around the outside of your text. And finally, if you want to strike through your text to make it look like it's been crossed out, select the text and go up to strike through here and click. If you've made multiple changes and you don't like it, once again you can simply select it all, go up to this icon here and click and it will return everything except for this colour here to normal and all you need to do is click on the drop down and select no colour. If you'd like to do something slightly more fun with your text then you're going to have to use word art. So go to insert and along to word art and click on the drop down. You're given some options here but you can change all of these if you want to. So let's take this one here and click and as you can see it's just simply moved it onto my text. So let me just type out a word and then we'll move this and then just by selecting the box, you don't have to select the text itself, we can do several things. So go up to shape format which will be selected and appear once you've selected this text go to format pane. So you'll see we've got shape options that actually refers to the space around the text or you've got text options. So we're going to select the text options because we want to change the text. You've got text fill and a drop down and you've got text outline and a drop down and you can see that by these colours that have been selected and actually appear on the text. So we've got solid fill and we can change that colour by just clicking on the drop down and selecting from one of these colour choices. Let's choose this pink and then we can also change the transparency and then in the line options you can again choose a different outline. Let's choose blue and then in here we can choose to increase or decrease the width of that borderline. So if we press the up arrow, you can see how that border is now increasing. So let's just reduce it down a little bit. The great thing about this text is there are so many different options. If I go to the next option here, we've got a multitude of options. So we can include a shadow. So you just click on the drop down and select a shadow. You can see that shadows appear and you can use any of these sliders to change it. We've got a reflection, so you can simply once again choose from the presets and you can see how that shadow has appeared and again you can play around with the sliders. We've got a glow effect, so once again you can select a glow and you will be able to change that colour from the colour options and once again the transparency and the list goes on and you can simply play around with all of these to really design the text that you want. The great thing about these is you can move them anywhere in your document and you can also copy and paste them. So I'm going to simply hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag, then deselect them both and reselect one of them and it allows you to put the text on top or very close to other text, which then increases your design options. You can also select them both holding down your command or control key and then you can also make changes. So if we go back to the shadows we can then clear the shadows and then if we go to the reflection we can clear the reflection and then if we go to the glow we can once again clear the glow. So you can change the text together you don't have to make those changes to each and every one of your designs. If you want to make sure they're perfectly aligned simply select them both, go to align and select align to middle and they'll be perfectly aligned this way. Alternatively you can select them both, align, align to centre 
and they'll be perfectly lined up in this direction. If you want to select them as a group, select them both, go to group, select group, and they're now one group. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.